Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In this episode we're going to be exploring the city of Burbank which is located about 12 miles northwest of downtown Los Angeles and me having lived in Los Angeles for over 20 years this is actually one of my favorite places to go to and relax in simply because it has a really wide shopping district with many movie theaters and speaking of movie theaters Burbank is actually really known for having some of the biggest movie studios in the world such as Warner Brothers and Disney Studios so yeah without any further ado Let's explore! The city of Burbank is built as the media capital of the world and only a few miles northeast of Hollywood. Downtown Burbank is a really pleasant and casual area to spend time for lunch, dinner or even a movie. This area boasts over 600 shops, restaurants and activities that really make Burbank the ideal place to go shopping but at the same time manages to keep that small town feel to it. I wasn't kidding when I was saying that Burbank is really known for its shopping district. Well here I am on San Fernando which is basically the main outdoor street where all the shops, restaurants, cafes are and as you can probably tell from the images right here, well it is a beautiful day here in California and when it's hot and humid like it is most of the time here in California and especially in the summer, well it is really a blessing to be able to come here to a street that is outdoors where you can do some shopping, have a cafe, maybe enjoy a little quick bite to eat and just simply enjoy the beautiful weather. Burbank was named after David Burbank, a New Hampshire born dentist and entrepreneur who established a sheep ranch there in 1867. Burbank consists of two distinctive areas, the downtown foothill section and the foothills of the Verdugo Mountains and the flatland section. One thing that I love about Burbank is the fact that they have three AMC theaters and me who's a movie lover, well this is heaven for me. Basically in Burbank they have the AMC 16, the AMC 6 and the AMC 8 and what I love about these theaters is that most of the rooms are really state of the art and at the same time some of the theaters actually have fully reclinable seats and when you're a movie lover like me well watching a movie and being able to recline your seat all the way back while enjoying your popcorn and seeing a movie well that's just heaven. AMC theaters originally an abbreviation for American Multi Cinema often referred to simply as AMC and known in some countries as AMC Cinemas or AMC Multi Cinemas is an American movie theater chain headquartered in Leewood, Kansas and the largest movie theater chain in the world. Now this is a nice addition to downtown Burbank is the fact that they actually made a life size statue of Batman. It's just massive. Honestly the statue is over six feet tall and I must say that I really love art but when they mix pop culture with actually making real art that's part of the city well I just fall in love with it and honestly Burbank is a super safe city and if this city was already safe now that we actually have a superhero that's here to protect us well I feel even safer. This life-size bronze statue of Batman was placed in the heart of downtown Burbank by Visit Burbank to celebrate over 80 years of doing good. On an interesting note, Burbank is not only the headquarters of DC but also the location of Warner Brothers, the iconic studio that has brought to life numerous interpretations of the Dark Knight in film, television and animation. Here is one of the buildings in downtown Burbank which is really close to my heart and it's the building of the Colony Theatre and the reason that this building is actually so close to my heart is that I actually worked here for a couple of years and at the same time I do want to highlight it kind of like how I do in a lot of my videos where I highlight uh, these really artistic places is the fact that well because it is a live theater it has been kind of struggling for the past couple of years and especially with everything happening all over the world but luckily they still are open they do still have plays but it is more rentals that happen here and there's uh, one-off plays that happen once in a while it's not seasons where they had five six plays a year like they used to do uh, in the old days but yeah if you ever are in Burbank well do check it out because their performances are usually really really good. Apart from the amazing Colony Theatre and the San Fernando shopping street Burbank also has a huge mall called the Burbank Town Center which was formerly called the Media City Center. This large shopping mall and complex was opened in August 1991 with three levels of interior shopping anchored by Macy's, Burlington and Sears. The mall was sold to Crown Realty in March 2003 for $110 million with extensive remodeling plans announced in August that year. A name change was also discussed at this time. In order to mitigate what the owners described as a perception problem due to slumping sales in the mall it was renamed to its current name Burbank Town Center in late 2004. 
I wouldn't have mentioned that Burbank was known for its production companies if I wouldn't at least highlight some sort of thing related to Hollywood, like this building behind me, which is the building for the Cartoon Network. And in America, it's a television station that is known to broadcast a ton of really cool cartoons. Some of my favorite are like the Powerpuff Girls, Adventure Time, Steven Universe. But my most favorite one is actually Rick and Morty. And the reason that Rick and Morty is one of my favorite ones is because it's kind of very close to Back to the Future where Rick and Morty are kind of like Doc and Marty McFly, but at the place of going through time, they're actually going through different kinds of universes and they're inventing all these different kind of really cool inventions. And yeah, they produce it right here in this building, Cartoon Network, and it's located in Burbank. One of the biggest staples of Burbank is the fact that they actually have an Ikea and they used to have a smaller Ikea much closer to the city center but then a couple of years ago they decided to build it twice as big making it the largest Ikea in Northern America and having lived both in Europe and America I must say that no matter what whenever you go into an Ikea you just feel at home and at the same time you always I mean, at least for myself, I always feel such an awe looking at all this Swedish engineering and I just love to peruse through all the aisles and just look at it. So yeah, go check it out. IKEA Burbank truly is the largest IKEA in the United States. Founded in Sweden in 1943 by 17 year old Ingvard Kamprad, IKEA has been the world's largest furniture retailer since 2008. The brand used by the group is an acronym that consists of the founder's initials and those of the family farm where he was born in the nearby village, his hometown in southern Sweden. The group is known for its modernist designs for various types of appliances and furniture, and its interior design work is often associated with an eco-friendly simplicity. In addition, this firm is known for its attention to cost control, operational details, and continuous product development that has allowed IKEA to lower its prices by an average of 2-3% per year. And if the main shopping street on San Fernando in Burbank is not enough for you as well as the mall and Ikea, well, they actually have the Burbank Empire Center, which is another shopping district right here in Burbank, located about 1.5 miles away from San Fernando. And it's a really cool place because they have a ton of shops that range from Target to Best Buy to Michaels to a bunch of clothing stores. And they also have a bunch of places where you can get some food and they range from fast food to regular restaurants to anything in between. So so yeah, walking through Burbank, I really realized how much this place is really the place to go if you're trying to shop for something. In late 2001, the Burbank Empire Center opened with aviation as a theme. The center, built at a cost of $250 million by Zellman Development Company, sits on Empire Avenue, the former site of Lockheed's top secret skunk works and other Lockheed properties. By 2003, many of the center's retailers and restaurants were among the top national performers in their franchise. The Burbank Empire Center comprises over 11% of Burbank's sale tax revenue, not including nearby Costco, a part of the Empire Center development. I did mention that Burbank is really known for its movie studios, and to prove that, well, behind me we have the Disney Studios. Yes, the same studio that created Mickey Mouse, that has made so many wonderful animated films throughout the decades, that still continues to do a ton of animated films for the movie theater, for streaming services, and that actually also makes a ton of regular films too. But me living in California and living in Hollywood makes me feel so happy to actually be standing here in the middle of this magic. And even though I can't actually go inside the studio, at least looking at the sign and seeing all the office buildings and seeing a bit of the studios and the stages and everything decorated with the Mickey Mouse logo makes me so happy. Walt Disney used the earnings from the successful release of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs to finance the construction of the Burbank studio. This lot serves as the corporate headquarters for the Walt Disney Company media conglomerate. The 51-acre studio lot also contains several sound stages, a back lot, and other filmmaking production facilities for Walt Disney Studio Motion Picture Production. The complex also houses the offices for the company's many divisions, with the exception of the 20th Century Studios, which remains in Century City. And if it wasn't enough that Burbank has the Disney Studios, they also have the Warner Brothers Studios, which is really known for its Looney Tunes cartoons, and it's also known for its movies, of course, but also for its DC Comics films that have been coming out as of late. And kind of like the Disney Studios, there isn't too much to see on the outside of the studio, but if you want to actually visit and have a tour, they do have tours with a little trolley, and there's even a little museum inside. So yeah, if you're ever in the Burbank area and you want to check out the Warner Brothers Studios, do check it out, it's really worth it. The 
financial success of the jazz singer and singing fool enabled Warner Brothers to purchase a majority interest in First National in September 1928 and then began moving its productions into the Burbank lot. The First National studio, as it was known, became the official home of Warner Brothers' First National Pictures with four sound stages. Though Warner's Sunset Boulevard studios remained in active use during the 1930s, both for motion picture filming and phonograph recordings, a fire in December 1934 destroyed 15 acres of the studios in Burbank, forcing the company to put its Sunset Boulevard studio back into full use. Here's a quiet little side street in Burbank, and I thought that this would be the perfect place to actually end this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed checking out Burbank and looking at all the commercial streets as well as some of the studios. And if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment too. Let me know what other places I should check out in the surroundings. I know that there's many other beautiful places in Burbank, and I kind of just showed my favorite places, but I'd be glad to show other places too. Either way, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.